Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Bakdash, the Milan City Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth. And salutations, much love and respect to Akim out there pushing his word out in truth and sincerity. And salutations, Shalom, to you, uh, sincere sisters out there learning and listening. And um, now this is. Um, this is going to be somewhat of a various topics, you know, because really I don't really have anything, you know, prepared, you know, but, you know, uh, the spirit got on me to do a video while I'm driving, you know. Um, now, when it comes to this truth, we have to constantly be, you know, researching and learning because this is a constant uh, learning thing. You know, there's so much, there's so much truth. There's so much um, history, man, tied behind the scriptures that if you're not constantly going over it, and the Elder Apostle Har always says this, if you're not constantly going over it, you tend to forget things. You know, this is why we have to constantly go over these prophecies and these histories over and over and over again. There's a lot of detail, you know, dealing with these histories and and sometimes, you know, they have kings that's, you know, that have the same names, but really it's just a, a title, you know, like Ahasuerus, that's a, that's just a, that's a title, you know, it's a title for the Persian kings, you know, and uh, what else you got, you got, you know, you got, um, what else you got, you got it's, uh, Caesar, you know, things like that. Those were not names, but those were titles given to rulers, you know, so if you don't go over it over and over again, you know, you'll forget certain things. We have to remember, remember these things, you know, for the sake of people coming up and might be asking these questions. But some things are based, some questions are really for the, um, are for like, you know, uh, in-home in -home lessons. That's where you get more intricate, you know, with, with things, because then you can go in a blue letter, you can look up the words, you can do different things. Um, you know, in certain lessons, or for you know the street teaching you know are better for the street teaching you know there's two different vibrations coming from that you know but we have to be you know scholarly when it comes to these uh these scriptures you know we can't be be lazy we have to be scholarly when it comes to these scriptures and looking things up so that we're not uh, winging it if we do a lesson we're not winging it you know we have to be as accurate as possible you know, when we say things and forget things and things like that, of course, we're in the flesh. We're men, you know, we're men, you know, and there's certain brothers who have better memories than others. You know, certain brothers have, uh, have memories, uh, better memories than others. So they'll remember certain things, you know, but even them, they're still in the flesh. So they're not going to remember everything. They, they might remember more things than certain brothers, but they're not going to remember everything. You know what I mean? So that's why we have to constantly go over these things and, and, and double check and, and things like that, you know. Um, but it's it's a beautiful thing when we get when we when you go into it and then you find the understanding, you know. You find the perfect understanding, you know. It, you know you, you rejoice in that, you know. It's like it's a beautiful thing. You give all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai, and that comes with work, you know. A lot of people, a lot of people, they just want to hear, you know. The, prophets oh what does this mean what does that mean and you know dealing with the men specifically they don't want to do any research for themselves they just want the prophets to break down everything well you, you're gonna have to do some research yourself you know you can't just just rely on everything the prophets uh, the prophets to break down everything I mean you could ask us questions and we'll deal with it we'll happily break down questions you know but there's certain brothers that get so much questions after you know you're, they're not gonna get to all of your questions you know, certain brothers, are, you know, have so much subscribers and so many people asking them questions every video. Is that they're not going to get to your question all the time. You know, you can't catch an attitude because of that. You know, the scripture says that what patience is a virtue, man. That's one of the fruits of the spirit. So you have to have patience. And sometimes you have to receive. You have to go ahead and do it for yourself. You know, you have to go and labor and do it for yourself. And guess what? You're going to appreciate it that much more when you do it for yourself. All right? Give me a second. I'll take 40 regular. 
slacking. Let's get some gas, you know. But um, but yes, the uh, give this guy a tip. You know, they pump the gas. You gotta give tips too, man. You can't just be a, a nigger out here, man. You gotta make sure you do things the right way. But um, yeah. So the point is that. The point is that um that you have to do research for yourself, man. Don't just rely on the the, the, the prophets to give you the, every answer, man. You want to labor for yourself. The scriptures speak about the church of Berea, you no know, being more noble than than the church in Thessalonica, because why they were um they would actually be researching. They would search the scriptures daily to see if those things were so. So they did the research for themselves. You know, yeah, they'll hear, you know, the prophets say such and such, but then they'll go and do, you know, the research for themselves, man. And they were finding out things for themselves. And that's how you you get revelations and the, and the spirit works with you. You know, you get different revelations and things like that. And certain things the apostles don't break down to you. You can break down because of the Holy Spirit guiding you. All right. Let's see. Here you go. Take care, man. No, it's okay for that. Sorry. Thank you, man. Take care. All right, so like so for, for the Holy Spirit guiding you, you know what I mean, and and it'll show you things, man. Then they say he, he he will send you the Comforter, which is what the Holy Spirit. That's what comforts us, okay. And he will what teach you all things. So he's supposed to be teaching. Yeah, he set up teachers, of course. He's supposed to learn. The teachers are supposed to guide you and teach you certain things. And of course, I'm not saying for every lesson. But some things you can go ahead and do for yourself, especially specifically speaking to the men of Israel. All right? Don't be lazy, man. Don't be lazy. Okay? And so, you know, and you got to pray for the spirit. You know, when, you, when you're out of the spirit for a certain period of time, you got to, you have to pray for the spirit, man. Pray for the spirit of diligence. Pray for the spirit of, you know, of discernment. You know, the, you know these different things, man. The spirit to want to, the spirit of studying, you know? These are the type of things you gotta pray for, man. The type of things you gotta pray for, man. You can't just sit around and expect it to just, you know, everything to just be taught uh, for, the, for the men of the Lord to just do every single thing that comes to your mind, you know? But, you know, um, you know, we are set up as teachers. We are set up as, as watchmen as well. And not every brother is a teacher. Not every brother has the spirit of a teacher. You know, some brothers have the spirit of of, 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 uh, of helps, of, of you know, of, of the spirit of charity, the spirit of exhortation. But these things are all all important, man. You know, we, uh, some brothers have wisdom. You know, they, they 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 have experience in the world with different things. They might have traveled a lot. They might have, you know, lived a lot in the world and seen a lot of things. And you know, and you gain knowledge of different things based upon that you see but, but when it comes to the scriptures all of this knowledge is all based upon experience man you know and it takes time everything takes time you're not just going to get everything microwave for man right it takes time you have to start with the milk and then you move on to the you know the, the applesauce the softer foods, and then you you know you move on to the uh, to the meat, the steak, you know the, the, the chicken, the quail. You move on to those things, but it's all in a process of time. You can't rush the spirit. You, the scripture says, "Force not the course of the river." You can't force anybody to do anything. You know, I've asked questions before, and you know I didn't get the answer. Man, so I just I just let it I just let it be. And you know what? Eventually, I got the answer in the spirit, man. Some of it. Sometimes it took years to get that those answers. You see what I'm saying? So you can't force the course of the river. You can't make you no. Know, you cannot make things happen in your time. The things are going to happen based upon the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, we can't make the Lord come back any faster. We have to wait for Him to come back in His time. The scripture says. Uh, it's um he says um it says wait not my love until he please man they're speaking about the heavenly father you can't force his hand you know you cannot force his hand so yeah man so patience is very very important patience is a very 
very important thing in this truth and also you know doing your own um work doing work you know doing work as well that's important you know researching and it's the and it's the inter it's the um the information age anyway so so researching is not like in the time of you know our elders and apostles where they were just you no know, they had to go to the library man especially the apostles right they had to go to the li when they were first coming in they had to go to the libraries you know elder high priest Ariah, he broke down the 12 tribe sign right before there was uh internet he didn't go on the internet to find out what's going on you see what i'm saying he didn't go on the internet to find out what's going on you see what i'm saying so ultimately he um he he, he broke that down through the spirit okay through the spirit of y'all by shimmy you see what i mean so that's the bottom line man okay so it's a, so he has to be a man of the Lord. He has to be a man of Yahweh by Shabbat Shai, in my opinion, man. Okay, the Lord's not just gonna give all that to some some random Negro. You know what I'm saying? That's a heavy thing. It's a heavy thing. All right. So, anyways, I just wanted to say that through the Spirit, you know, and um, you know, these these things, you know, you should take to heart and you should apply them. Okay, you should definitely apply these things. Very important. Uh, Shalom, you know, all praise to the Alba Shemi Al Shai, by Shemar Kakodash, the blinds to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone, and um, much love to the hopeful elect. Shalom.